I live 18 miles south of London, 600 feet above sea level on the North Downs at Caterham on the Hill. It is the last town after leaving the London Conurbation before reaching the M25 motorway and the Weald of Sussex. Surrounding Caterham is a protected landscape that is part of the Surrey Hills area of outstanding natural beauty. Like everyone else, I am staying indoors, venturing out once a day for health and exercise. The amount of time spent outdoors is not written into law, but Cabinet Minister Michael Gove in a television interview did suggest one hour for a walk. That became the inspiration for this show, discovering places on my doorstep that can be reached within 60 minutes. With the help of an ordnance survey map, I discovered many new places and footpaths. Fortunately, April was blessed with good weather, a welcome change after such a soggy winter. I was able to get out to meet the challenge in an area that I knew well and all too easy to dismiss with contempt. On a high plateau and within 15 minutes from home is Kenley Aerodrome, which saw active service in World War II. Along with Croydon and Biggin Hill, it played a part in the defence of London during the Battle of Britain. From here, fighter pilots departed in their Spitfires and Hurricanes to challenge the German Luftwaffe in combat, but not all would return. Of course, it is much quieter today, now occupied by joggers, cyclists and dog walkers, passing each day the RAF Kenley Tribute Memorial. Here, homage is made to fallen heroes, who are also remembered in the naming of streets at a nearby housing estate. The airfield is still used for glider instruction, therefore access is limited, but the perimeter can be walked, especially to Kenley Common for wide-ranging views over Whiteleaf. I live in the original part of Catrum but the main shops and banks are one mile away in the valley, which grew with the arrival of the railway. We have a number of food shops on the hill, but on high days and holidays I walk down to Waitrose for treats. On the way I pass a 250-year-old cedar tree, which is Caterham's emblem, before proceeding downhill on a quiet lane into the valley. This is Walla Lane, a haven in daylight hours and traffic free. It is sheltered by a hill and most sounds pass overhead, the silence only interrupted by birdsong. Apparently Walla Lane is unique. It is the only road in the UK with that name. The cedar tree was photographed early morning, but later I returned and took another shot in evening light from the other side. The old church of St. Lawrence is nearby, replaced by St. Mary's across the road when the town expanded, but currently covered in scaffolding. I retreated to the open spaces of Queen's Park, the main recreational area on the hill, before returning home via a passageway, finding an unexpected photographic opportunity. Light patterns decorating a commonplace fence and making it look special. Caterham Valley is steep-sided, the houses rising in tiers, the approach roads unbelievably steep. Above is the A22 Caterham Bypass, now empty, and a little further up, climbing tilling down, a quiet country lane. From a few select spots for the photographer prepared to look are some interesting views of the town centre, but not in summer. Too many trees.
Coulston Common is one of seven open spaces bordering South London and Surrey, and part of the City Commons. They include ancient woodland and heathland, managed by the City of London Corporation. Coulston Common is across the county border from Surrey, in the London Borough of Croydon, an effective buffer zone between Caterham and Old Coulston, where the London conurbation begins. To the east is Kenley Aerodrome, west is Happy Valley, therefore a substantial area of unspoilt country for exploration. I paid two visits, early morning and mid afternoon, luxuriating in the fresh spring green hues that are such a feature in April. Caterham Manor was the London home of a Cumberland MP, who travelled to town from Godstone Road Station, now Purley. Nothing remains of the property except the park, known as Manor Park, and located in Whiteleaf. Weather planning is essential in landscape photography, and my visit coincided with an overnight change in wind direction, bringing drier air down from the Arctic. This cleansed the atmosphere, clarifying distant views of the North Downs. My 60-minute saunter permitted me to visit Happy Valley, a name it adopted in 1970. Unfortunately, farthing down, a bit further on and open to the sky, is a landscape beyond my one-hour limit, but I included Dean Hill on the way. Happy Valley is steep-sided, consisting of chalk grassland, rich in wild plants, owned and managed by Croydon Council. Photographically, because of its size and lack of singular features, it is a challenge. One of the best locations is a hillside leading back to Coulston Common, where I wandered lonely as a cloud and saw not a host of golden daffodils, but cowslips. All photographs are new, taken with the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II plus the 12 to 100 Pro lens. Now, I don't wish to be cavalier in recommending these walks, but you are permitted to exercise daily on your own for health, which I consider important to preserve my own sanity. However, keep away from other people. And why not be imaginative about where you travel, on foot, of course? I enjoyed Tilling Down and Walla Lane alone, the commuter traffic to the station now, I presume, working from home. However, in respect of popular areas such as Kenley Aerodrome, I went early morning, joining the elite company of runners and cyclists. I also discovered several quiet paths, but don't tell anyone, will you? <laughs>